All right, everybody, how y'all doing? And welcome back to my channel. I am here to unbox the Elsa RX 580 8 gigabyte GPU. Now, this GPU will be replacing the GTX 1060 3 gigabyte. Yes, right, y'all hear it? I'm stepping up. Five more extra VRAM on my retro gameplay and basic gameplay. Yes, I'm going up to 8 gigabyte with the RX. 580 8 gigabyte GPU as you see tells you right here Elsa graphic card high performance graphic card yes 8 gigabyte and it would do everything I needed to do from putting all my video from 1080p HD to 1440p and I cannot wait and I'm excited to see that now the box is pretty simple you got your little fade out your RX AMD 580 graphic card. You got your caution tape. Says it on the backs right there. Just your basic, regular, simple instructions. Come from China. They're all the manufacturer's instructions. One thing else I could have done was, you know, put a nice good picture of the GPU right there and then put the type in white. But this is pretty much do. They let you know it's a graphic card inside. They got the brand Elsa. A lot of people are buying these brands now. These cards come off AliExpress for the very low low. But if you don't trust AliExpress and if you need your gear right away, there are alternatives on Amazon going for between eighty to a hundred dollars a piece on these say graphic cards here. But I happen to get this graphic card for the low of fifty eight dollars. All the links will be in the description below, so if you want to go ahead and click on it, and if you need a graphic card for your simple, basic gameplay. Now, keep in mind, to the extreme gamers, if you're playing more of those high-end uh, video games that's coming out now, the AAA titles and the EA Sports titles, and you're playing those high-end graphics, you need a high-end graphic card. So, just keep that in mind. This is RX 580. 8 gigabyte and I'm excited to have it now let's unbox her oh yeah you got your basic phone nothing instructions product manual if you don't know what you're doing always refer to your product manual like I always tell you to do with anything you buy your product manual etc tell you how to install it in can't go wrong with that nothing else in the box and here she is oh she is a beauty here let's get her out the um protective plastic oh yeah she is nice. She is very, very nice. You got your twin fan. Of course, you see Elsa on it. Very heavy. Nice little plastic shroud. Good, decent back plate. As you see right there, your, R, your AMD RX580. 8 gigabyte DDR5. You have your PCI EX16 slot. Now, Elsa, I also noticed that um, Soyo did it as well too. Make sure that y'all put a protective piece on the um, PCI EX16 slot so it won't get damaged in shipping and everything. But pretty much everything was packaged great. Other than that, you got your nice, decent heat sink. You got your PCIe 8-pin connector for your shield plates. You got your, your HDMI and your two display ports. And I love the color red and black. So, yes, you cannot go wrong with that. Now... The next stage is 
to go ahead on and install her in my gaming rig. Let's get right into it. Alright everybody, and now I'm going to install the Elsa RX 588GB GPU GD, um, GDDR5, which I'm glad to have because my Soya um, Monarch Dragon card was the same way too. Uh, when I went to um, order the Monarch's, um, the Soya Monarch Dragon um, graphic card, they were sold out, and Elsa was the only GPU on hand at that time. <coughs> Okie dokie. Now this is the uh, storage master uh, PC case. It does everything I needed to do, and I cannot go wrong with that at all. So <clears throat> a lot of people was complaining about my case. They should have sit down. A lot of people were saying you should have went with the fractal, you know, design flow and all the other stuff. But I say you know what? I love this case here. It's it's, it's holding up its purpose here, so I cannot really go wrong with it. The only thing that this case didn't have as it straight into the photos, it did not have any um, dust filters up front. But you can go ahead and buy your dust filters if you go on 120 millimeters or 140. You could buy either 120 millimeters or 140 millimeters for this here. So enough with that talking. Let's go ahead and install this baby right here. And let's do it. Let me go ahead and connect my 8 pan up. As you see here, I got my up here sleeve cables here, so nice cables. Cannot go wrong with that. A lot of people was complaining about that as well too, saying I should have went with um um cable mods or any other gaming um PC and PSU cables for my build. But I just say, hey, this works for me, and I'm not really mad at it. But it does what it does and it satisfies my needs perfectly. Alrighty. Let's go ahead on and take the screws out. Now y'all keep in mind the thumb screws are, are tight. Now this cell case can't hold a vertical mount on GPU. Once I find the right length, I might just go ahead and mount it vertically. But other than that, She's fine, and I and I love the way she came out. So, to a lot of um entry level gamers, if you're building your system for the first time, always study your hardware so you know where you're going at with your build. If you're playing more high end games, um go ahead and get you more of a high end um CPU like the um Intel i9, the 10900, the 11900, the 12900. Or the 13900, <clears throat> or if you want a little more of a low budget, like an 8 core 16 thread, you could go ahead on with the um, Intel i7, 10, 11, 12, and 13 as well, too. But just pick your motherboard. If you're an overclocker, then this the then make sure you get the motherboard that handles your power perspective as you like. Now keep in mind I already un uninstalled the uh, GPU driver so all they have to do now is just pop her out which I'm going to do that now. She's out. This is the HP GTX 1063 gigabyte. She did this thing. She's still doing a thing for um, retro gaming and mid-level gaming here. I won't throw nothing heavy at it because it's only 3 gigabyte. And a lot of game enthusiasts don't pay attention, just want to do a video without doing the research first. Once you go ahead on and research, then you can go ahead on and make your channel look good without demoralizing the product and also making your channel look bad as well too. Alrighty. One thing I like about this is a nice metal backing. Nice. You got all your OKs. Everything is good to go. And I cannot go wrong with this. So let's just go ahead and put it in. Hello. Okie dokie. I don't see how y'all.
I'm gonna have to lay her down because I can't see what I'm doing. Then like I said, I know some of y'all likes to go ahead on and um Hmm. Y'all give me a minute here. It's kind of like they said black metal black plating is getting in the way, so I might have to remove it because it's not fit in there properly like I want to, and it's pushing down on my um my memory slots. So it's loosening up my RAM. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some modifications. So it should take about 30 minutes. So give me 30 minutes to go ahead and fix these problems right here. All right, everybody, I'm back. I just, you see, I removed the uh, back plate off. Nice, good back plate. You know, you can't go wrong with it. Nice, good back plate, but the back plate was just too bulky and it was hitting against my um my round. So now I'm gonna go ahead on and install it in like this here. As you see, the back plate off looks nice. Nice, nice, decent car. So let me just go ahead on and get that done. Yeah, sometimes when you got things in the way, you got to go ahead and make some modifications. So, I hope everything is modified right and we can see where she's going to go. All right, I'm going to lay her down because that's the only best way I can install her, is laying her down. All right. Okay, she is in. Okay. The only thing I might have to do is, um, let me see. Might not be a problem here. Is, um, make sure I don't break nothing. Because that's what looks like is going to happen. So far, now she is in. Okay, she's in. She's connected. The only thing is the fan spin, so... I ain't got no issues with that. The fan is spinning, but I might remove my fans out the way. My orders might just go ahead and buy me some um, decent 90 degree angle cables and just handle that from that. So let me just go ahead and plug her in. Uh huh. Okay, the plug is in. Okay, then put the screws in. Let me screw her down now. And that's that should be about a wrap now. Okay. It was a process. So I'm glad y'all bear with me here. It took almost 30 minutes to an hour just to go ahead on and um get this baby in. All right. Let 
Okie dokie. That's one down, one screw down. And let me get the other screw in. And that should do it right there. All right, and screwing that in, she looks looking nice, and she's sitting right. All righty, now, only thing I have to do now is install the drivers. Yes, she's looking good. She's looking nice. The fan is spinning, so I'm good with that. What I'm going to do here is I forgot to take this out. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I don't need it. I already got the um, front panels already hooked up, so I don't need that in the back. So, yes, that was my extra 2.0 um, US, um, USB um, drive, so the K um, connector. So, what I'm going to do is put the panel on, and that should be it. Now, now, only thing I have to do is install the drivers that's going to take another hour um and then i'm gonna go ahead and close the video out there make might go ahead and do a little bit of gameplay with it you know give out the fps so i got to go ahead and install msi afterburner which i don't use because i don't i don't care about the fps numbers i just know that how i'm using the gpu and where i'm going now with it so but i'm gonna go ahead and put that up with a couple of games i like to play and y'all tell me is this a good card for you because I know it's a good car for me so I'm not really worrying about that as in my um, editing rig the 8 gigabyte Soyo Monarch Dragon is a great car for me so yes but these are 8 gigabyte GDDR5 cards are uh, hitting the market you can get them off AliExpress or if you don't want to wait for the shipping and handling it's about 10 to 20 business days if y'all if y'all if very have very impatient and you can't wait that long. I will be putting an alternative link from Amazon if y'all want to go ahead and purchase these cars. Now keep in mind that know where you're going at with your gameplay. Because if you don't, then you're going to sit down here and say, oh, we're well, around. I don't know what he's talking about because I'm getting low FPS in certain titles. So understand the games you're throwing at this 8 gigabyte card because nowadays games coming out require to use 12 gigabyte of VRAM or better. 8 gigabyte is just basically your new mint level now so but back in my days 6 gigabyte was a basic mint level and 8 gigabyte was the more high end level now but since we have a whole lot of GPUs ranging from 8 gigabyte for your mint level as well all the way up to 24 gigabyte so you know 8 gigabyte now is your mint level so just keep in mind of where you are throwing games at it and where you going at with this uh, graphic card here so just like i said i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out when i get done doing the drivers and do a little gameplay so stay tuned not stay tuned just go ahead on the game in an hour or two for that and i'll come back with you with the final all right everybody i am back it was an hour and a half installing the drivers downloading msi afterburner setting up the pc after i installed the graphic card now in the other in the installation video i had to go ahead and make some modifications to the graphic card because the back plate was a little too heavy now y'all keep in mind the reason why is that there because of the old motherboard i'm using i am on the LGA 1155 motherboard into a third gen CPU. I'm on the i7 3770 with four sticks of DDR3, 1600 megahertz at 32 gigabyte. Yes, 32 strong, 32 deep. And with that back plate was on, it was pushing down on everything. So I said, you know what? I don't need it. I didn't needed it when I was on the GTX 1063 gigabyte. So I say, let me take it off. Everything is working perfectly. 
everything is fine now when you're done installing graphic cards from third and fourth party developers now it's also good to go ahead and check to make sure that you're not getting ripped off when buying an asus gigabyte msi or asrock gpu because if you buy them from third party retailers retailers they could go ahead and lie to you switch the card out and say that oh you got this card but you still see a d sub on a gpu that's not supposed to have a d sub all right let's get into how you know you have the right card okie dokie i am going to open up tech power gpu there we go now when you do that when you do that you will see this pop up if you don't see the AMD Radeon RX 580 2048SP, you know you don't have the right GPU. Also, if you don't have the right GPU, is where you know you're downloading the drivers and you're getting a crash screen or everything just lock up and freeze. That's when you know you don't have the right um, GPU. The release date of this GPU was October um, October 2018. Transistors is 5700. Die size is 230, 232. Technology is 14 nanometers. Alrighty, so it is AMD slash ATI. If y'all didn't know, ATI used to be the main thing back in the late 80s, early 90s. And until AMD decided to buy them, then they took over from there. They get a device. It's a PCIe 16 3.0. ROPs is 32. TMUs is 128. Shaders is 2048. DirectX support is 12. Pixel filters is 39.8. Texture filters is 159.2. Memory type is not GDDR6. It is GDDR5. Hynix. Bus speed is 256 bit. Memory size is eight 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 thousand one hundred ninety two megabit. Bandwidth is two hundred twenty four gigabit per second. Driver version is thirty one point oh two, which is a drilling twenty three point nine two. Windows ten sixty four bit drivers date August thirty four thirty first twenty twenty three. As you see, everything right here now. When you look it up, now keep in mind, I said 8 gigabyte. If you, if you don't hit this button here, and you don't get this screen here. Now here, <clears throat> this is the older version model of the GPU. There was a 4 gigabyte, but they decided to go ahead and then add more VRAM to it, making it an 8 gigabyte. Here is your game setting resolutions. Low FPS in 1920, 1080. Now, if you're on a 1440p monitor or a 2160, which is a 4K monitor, you will get unplayable FPS. Unplayable F FPS. Now, this is one reason why I brought the card because I play retro games. I love my retro games. I love my puzzle games. I have no issues with that. I love games that don't have too much to render. That's going to keep the low, the list going to keep the FPS low. I like my GPU to go ahead and play my game and give me the comfortable gameplay that I like when I'm playing my game. So I already knew I was going at with this car. I already knew what I was going to do with this car. I already knew how to use it. So. Now, this, like I said, it says here, so the Polaris 20, 2048 cores, TMUs 128, ROPs 132. Memory side is 8 gigabit, 8 gigabyte, GDDR5, 256 bit. Now, the suggested power supply is 450. I am on a 550 watt power supply, so the power is good. I'm 100 watts over 
the limit. Now, I showed you all the back of the GPU. You get two display ports and one HDMI port. The original version, as well as in the manual, have a D sub DVI. As what you see right here, three display ports, one HDMI, and one DVI. Now, certain models comes with the D sub, which I don't know why they put that up there, but the new models comes with one DVI, one HDMI 2.0, and three display ports, 1.4A. Power connection is eight pins. Now, I'm not going to be going all over this, but I will be including this in the description below so y'all can go ahead and click on it read it and if y'all think eight gigabyte is still good enough for you for your mid-level gaming or as i call basic gaming basic is your mid-level we old school so when we put our systems together especially when we had those one gigabyte gpus we knew where we was going at with it now as i am talking to as you see that the now, if you sit down here and download, get a card, and you download the drivers, and your screen frozen, that means you got scammed. And most of the scammers just take your money and run with it. But here is the original software version of the GPU. Here's the new Adrenaline Edition. It's 23.92. Was released August 31st to 2023. Everything is updated which I got no issues with. And here is the GPU hardware and drivers. The AMD Radon RX 580 2048SP. VRAM is 8192 megabytes. CPU is like I said, I'm on the third gen, which is Intel Core i7 3770 with the base of 3.4. And yes, I do have my CPU boosted in the BIOS manually to 3.9 and i'm on 32 gigabytes of ram yes as you see all the information right here and you cannot go wrong with that now what i'm going to be doing here is i will be doing some gameplay and i will be putting up the fpf the fps numbers in a chart as well as the gameplay i'm just gonna go ahead and run it for no more than a minute or two minutes tops no more if i go over two minutes i'm going to stop it now just like i said i already know where i was going out with this eight gigabyte gpu now when i'm playing my games and i edited them everything is great with that i edited them in 1440p as well as 1080p i do have a gaming channel out as well as my sports channel, but I'll get into that there later on. Um, I will be putting certain gameplay with the FPS numbers into a chart as well as the games itself, so you can see the numbers yourself. Now, if I'm not doing the FPS um, right, just post a comment there, Ron, go back, retest, and then, and, and Put your video link in how to set my uh, afterburner up, etc. So I can go ahead and do the numbers right. Now, certain titles I played gave me 60 frames per second. Certain titles I played gave me uh, 230 frames per second. So, if the numbers ain't right, if I did something wrong, y'all let me know in the comments below and I'll go back and retest them. It'll just be a redo or uh, retesting game benchmarks part two, etc. But if I did it wrong, put the information or your comments in the comment section below. I'll read it and I'll get back with you. Alrighty, enough of that. I am excited to have the Elsa RX 588GB GPU. This will be my last update of my systems all my systems are up to date i got my two entertainment rigs running good on two gigabytes and i got my gamer red running good old school hardware on eight gigabyte gpu and i'm on my latest hardware which is the ryzen uh and four platform 
which that will be seven years old next year because the hardware came out in 2016. And let's go ahead and do numbers on that right quick. 2023 minus 2016 equals. The hardware is seven years old. It will be eight years old next year. The time that the AM4 platform came out. Now, <clears throat> everything is moving up to the LGA 1700s and the AM5 platforms. To the newcomers coming into the gaming world, take notes from an old schooler like me. You can still use the AM4 platform, the AM3 platform, whatever works for you, but understand your hardware and understand how you're using your hardware. Alrighty, I will be putting numbers, everything at the end of the video. And I want to thank y'all for watching. Hit the like button on the way out. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.